Yeah, I'm looking for <laughs> looking for the stream itself to try and make sure that you can find chat. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I got it. Waiting for the racers to ready up, and they're gonna be starting very soon. Hell yeah, no, that's what I like to see. I want to say good luck to the runners and have fun. Absolutely. All right, and here they go. What's up, Forte? Rolling back in. So, uh, as usual, there's not much going on in World 1 and 2. They're going to take the developer and turn wards for the most part. There's a couple of wrong wards they're going to be doing. But, uh, yeah, it is how it is. Yep, so bro, so, uh, you know, doing the standard stuff pretty much so far. <laughs> Not sure how far behind I am on the, uh, on the stream feed, though. Is he starting main brace right now, on your end? Uh, Sabroso is starting, is on main brace right now. Okay. I seem to not have the feed for, uh, the other racer. Yeah, communism. I've just been seeing the uh, demo screen for a while, so I... This looks like this might be an async race. I'm not sure. Probably a desync or, or something. Yeah, I assumed it wasn't supposed to be since they're both here together, but... <laughs> but yeah, since it's been... That's I didn't like the demo. That's really strange. So yeah, how do we handle that? Do just like time the difference or something? Is that... Because uh... Zabro Zabrosa is like flying <laughs> through World 1 uh... so far. So kind of, uh, wasn't it? It's a kind of an async race because uh, communism looks like he's starting at like, oh, Sabrosa is starting top. Okay, after Sabrosa, watch, watch, he's gonna miss like Luckjaw this time and like main race he's gonna lose Diddy and like watch. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that was. That's re that's really strange. What happened? Yeah, man. Probably a desync or something. Uh, actually, popped out on one of the runners' end. We'll just try to figure out what happened. Yeah. So looks like they're gonna start fresh. So it's not not too bad. Um, was it supposed to be cantrip? Or oh, okay. Uh, it's another name that cantrip has. Okay, I, I thought it was supposed to be cantrip, but it's just another name that. Get your pass. All right. I, I thought that was, I thought I was a bit confused, but okay, we're good. It's like a cantrip. Is communism? Yep. <laughs> oh That's my god. That's all right. That's all right. It's all good. <laughs> oh really? Can't. Uh, cantrip just told us that the uh, his controller has issues. Somehow, uh, cantrip had controller issues. Oh, so that's what's up. Yeah. So that <laughs> that was the issue. But uh, we're trying to get this solved, so I... And then they're gonna restart the race. They're gonna restart the race, just uh, give it a moment, gamers. Do not worry. Sounds good. Fortunately, it happens. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, la la last minute problems that happens during a race. Yeah, <laughs> why am I not even surprised? <laughs> Yeah, hundred percent. Well, I, I'm, I, at least I'm glad they realized pretty. They realized it pretty quickly. Yeah, exactly. It's only yeah, it's only like two minutes in. So it's like not too bad, if Thank, anything. Th thankfully, they realized it pretty quick. Yeah. Yep. So we're they're ju they're just gonna make sure to. Uh reset the timers and everything to make sure they're uh, ready. Oh, is this like their their Twitters for the uh, 
at signs like at Team Sabroso and uh. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, true. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> This is fine, though. This is fine. <laughs> Alright. Both of them on the one player screen, so... Looks like they're getting ready. Uh-oh. Timer, timer started, but the runners have not. <laughs> no, that's alright. Okay, yeah. So we gotta uh, keep, yeah, keep right. that in mind at the end. So, GL, have fun, racers. Alright, so as I mentioned earlier, we're 1 and 2. There isn't much going on. They're just gonna take the developer and send warps. As usual, there's gonna be a couple of wrong warps uh, happening, but they don't save that much time in, in the first two worlds. As you're gonna see on main brace, they're just gonna yeah. uh, grab a beetle. They're gonna Bring it down, clash with another beetle, uh, get an invisible object, and they'll be able to get an invis oh! invisible object. Oh no, Kanye! Oh isn't. no, that's unfortunate. Antrid didn't get it. You do you yeah. hate to see it. So instead, uh, he's gonna take it instead uh, the uh, the war barrel. Oh, no problem. Oh, I'm surprised. Uh, so. Oh, so I guess he took the death by accident then? Yes, uh, unfortunately for some reason didn't get the, the wrong warp and uh, just decided to take it safe and just, oh, I'll just die and I just, uh, I'll just take the warp. Oh it. my god. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Kong Musen can still uh, try to uh, take the warp barrel instead. There, there's still a way to get it. You can do a roll jump from the platform. Can still do a roll jump to get on the hook, and I still think you can get into the warp barrel, but th that's a rough start. That's really a uh, rough start. Oh god, and the death too. <laughs> no, I think the this death is... is like faster anyway, actually. Oh man, I can see, I can see Kung Musen get already getting, uh, already getting on tilt. Like, I'd be pr already pretty tilted just because of this at this point. Meanwhile, I'm right. also on Crow, so the game's biggest RNG factor. First two hits always the same, bounce on the egg as fast as possible. The later two hits are completely RNG based, 50-50 so to get either a real egg or a fake egg. Alright, I need like 20 one fakes fake. at least. Oh, so Rosal gets one fake. Very nice. That's pretty good. We've been yeah. getting we've been pretty lucky. A lot of uh most racers got the, some fake less one or two fakes. We've never seen above like three or four for the for the bracket races today. So that's pretty good. Huh, that's surprising. Wow. And is it not going for the top set wrong warp? That's perfectly fine because that wrong warp is is very hard to do and just not do not save as much time as other run warp saves only about four seconds yeah so it's just better safe for a race you just, oh you just take the war the the run warp and you just take the regular warp and that's it and loses a lot if you fail it so true very and also very easy to just make one movement error and just completely misses the id for it to make the run warp work you all sabroso gets the 2-2 two -two big boy very nice yeah sir all right, see how, how the crow fakes go. Can't trip. Oh, there's one, two. Yeah, this uh, crow can just decide to give you as many fakes as it wants. Yep. Oh, wait, but... that was the last cycle. Whoops. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was third cycle. I somehow did not pay enough attention. <laughs> so, so about three fakes. So it's not too bad, but that's not ideal. Ideally... Ideally, you would take like at most two fakes. I know most runners at most they would take like two fakes and that's it. Zero but three fake fakes is bust. not too bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm teasing. Yes. Yeah. It looks like he was going for the wrong work, but then uh, ended up getting a moonwalk and like bumped backwards into the clobber. So he abandoned ship, which was definitely the right play at that point. Yeah, just better go for the regular warp instead. There's no shame in that. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, misses. Unfortunately, misses the big boy, the two-two big boy. So he's just gonna 
get about the, go over the platform and get to go the intended way to get to the uh, warp barrel. Yeah. There's no problem. All right, so Sabroso is on the cleaver, so another source of RNG. It, it's not a lot. It's really not that much. It just depends on where the cannonballs uh, spawn. Yeah, exactly. And so you can like waste like frames uh, depending on the spawn you get. It's actually about a one or two second variance depending on where the cannonball spawns. And now Sabroso is going for lava fly. So we mm, oh, Sabroso bails out. Probably didn't uh, was not for confident with this attempt, and that's perfectly fine because uh, lava fly. What you do is just you glide across all the way across the lava, and you have to buffer or jump to make it across to the ledge on the other side. It saves about four seconds, but if you fail it, you die. There's no way around it if you fail it. Yeah, exactly. So if you're not confident, it's better to just wait it, wait it out, and just do it uh, normally. Just wait out the side. Just wait out the. Uh, the cleaver attack and just proceed as normal instead of just taking a risk to actually fail and lose even more time. Yep. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Kongunism for apparently died on the two five. I think uh, the Kongunism tried to roll as much as possible, tried to make him maximize the the roll, but uh, maybe roll did not jump out of out of just in time then to reach uh, the warp. That's unfortunate. Yep, I, I've done that <laughs> exact thing. Yeah, I've done it a few times before. Yeah. <laughs> but now Sabroso ends on World 3, so uh, Barrel Bayou 3 1. Not much to talk about. We're going to be using Rambi and do a bunch of supercharge to go very fast. But heck, Rambi, by the way, this animal body is the source of uh, a lot of uh, resets in this video game. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely I on the uh, Heck Rambi camp, so... <laughs> yep, I'm definitely on the Heck Rambi. Also, Sabroso did a team throw into the arrow barrel. This stores a super jump, and now Sabroso is going to take damage on the cloak. Going to gain a lot of vertical height, which will use that to be able to glide across the swamp pit. Very nice, got the G. Excellent. That's how you know you got it when you get the yep, G. Yep, got the swag, hell yeah. This... Oh, oh communism throws to the left over the cavern. That's oh, that's uh, I've never nope. seen that. Hope uh, I've never seen that before. Actually, I n I didn't know this actually goes off screen. That that cannonball goes off screen. <laughs> yeah, me neither. When that happened. I've never seen that. Wow. <laughs> that, that's I got, I got <laughs> That's surprise. I never. I've never seen that happen. Yeah, usually he just like hits the wall and then like... Yeah, <laughs> usually he just bounces the wall and just falls to the lava. Oh, Flying Diddy! Also though. gets Flying Diddy! Hell yeah! For the fans! Excellent. Meanwhile, Sabroso... Damn. Yeah, for the fans. But uh, yeah, Sabroso is now on the uh, Glimmer's Galleon, arguably the hardest level to optimize in the, in the entire game. So, in this stage, the route is pretty much constantly the same. But every time you go around a corner, you have a slight chance to lose time, and you can lose from tenths of a second to full seconds loss just because of doing corners poorly. Because you really don't want you really don't want to bonk into a wall because you completely lose your momentum, and it's pretty frustrating when it happens. Yeah, absolutely. Like, <laughs> yeah, when I was comparing, trying to compare when. Uh, to the top times, top IL times, like I was, it's always behind by like anywhere between like two and like five seconds consistently. And yeah, hit, touching corners like really loses, like it loses a lot of time without you really noticing. Mm, yeah, Unless exactly. You have an eye for it. Because you have to rebuild your, your momentum afterwards. Yep. Now Sabroso is on the Crockhead Clamber. So, to be honest, me, I consider this the start of the mid-game in the run, and now Tabros is coming up on the first non-developer intended warps to, by using the Cutlass's weird property, is that the Cutlasses, when they pull out their sword during that animation specifically, they have the same properties as a failsafe, so we throw our Kong partner at the Cutlass, and we take damage and we match the animation of the cutlass pulling out its sword at the same time we exit out we get shot out of the barrel and then we get kicked out of the stage and considers it complete it's yep. really strange how that works but hey it works so it's and it's faster <laughs> so we do it 
like, I don't exactly know more how, like, the more in-depth technicalities, but hey, it works, it works, safe sign. <laughs> take those. Yeah, we definitely take those. And yeah, so we got Rattle Battle up next. Uh, I know a lot of people in community either love this level or hate this level. I hate this level. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm up. pretty impartial. <laughs> like, uh, I think I'm like decent at the level, but um, yeah, like I, I don't find it like too too difficult. But I also, I don't I, I don't like love this level or anything. I mean, this level is pretty infamous for its horrible hitboxes. The, yeah. the hitboxes in general of this stage is just absolutely jank. Like all oh, communism oh, no. died. Oh, that's unfortunate. Did and like right did at, the die at the end of the stage because if and that's the case, the that's too. Oh no! Oh, that's the worst. Oh, oh that's, that's unfortunate. But and as I was I... saying, Rattle Battle has very bad hitboxes overall, and now Sabrozo, Sabrozo is on uh, is on uh, slime climb. Goes for the run warp, gets it first try. Excellent. Another beetle clash to get an invisible object. We drop down to the bonus barrel to get to to, to be able to trigger the wrong warp and get kicked out of the level and proceed. Yep. Very clean. And now we're on the Ramble Blast, and uh, this level has uh, a song that makes everyone remember their childhood. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, press one in the chat if you had a childhood. <laughs> I'm watching chat, so. If you don't press one, then uh, you'll be judging about one. There you go. <laughs> Not having a childhood. Like one piece of tech in the uh, Bradmon Blast are the quick shots, which are, are about uh, three frame windows to be able to shoot out the barrel. You land it immediately to be able to shoot immediately out. And now coming up on Vine Clip. Oh! Um, Unfortunately, misses it. But that's okay because if you fail Vine Clip, you have multiple backups to do it multiple backup this one is very well known it's called Dave Clip which is one of the it's a very old backup but it's but it's very reliable you have like one or two other backups that you can do to be uh, to skip the, the barrel maze so yeah. Sarozo lost about 10 8 to 10 seconds but it's not too bad all things considered you, you, thankfully you don't have to do maze of shame which you, you lose even a billion more yeah time doing it and it, it, it's just unfortunate yeah, so now, I, I would just yeah. work it at that point. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, communism gets uh, crockhead uh, wrong work first try. Excellent. So Sabrozo is on the cudgel. So this boss is very boring. It, it, it's it's really freaking boring. So the only piece of tech you can do to go faster in this fight is the thing called quick hits. So you count Dixie's bread slash oscillations. And you time yourself when the boss is coming down to be able to to hit cudgels as early as possible, but they don't save a lot of time. In in total, you only save like or, or optimally you save around two seconds by doing all the quick hits, but it's just so boring to learn. So it's not one of the things that would first recommend learning for the run. Yeah, for sure. And if you mess up, then yeah, you got to do that cycle again so you can yeah lose like <laughs> upwards of ten seconds. Oh, communism actually on its on his last life. Oh my goodness! Oh damn! I didn't even. I am notice. I am a bit scared, honestly. I just hope he's able to pull himself back up. I got one life right that. now, at least. Okay, yeah. but I I just hope he's able to pull himself back up and to recover from it because oh. Yeah, exactly. But the exactly. game sometimes will not hold its punches. Like uh, I'll be honest, the game sometimes will not. We'll just absolutely go ahead, go out and sports destroy you. Oh my god, that last jump before the mid barrel, I was scared because yeah, really, people it's get hit hitbox there a lot, and he didn't have a, a second con, so I was like, yeah. The main thing about rattle battle is just trying to keep your movement as consistent as consistent as possible. Usually, you won't have any problems, but it's very easy to just <laughs> slightly like you have oh your my. you have your slightly off on your movement just. You take damage at spots you don't you at spots you don't expect to take damage and it's pretty frustrating. Exactly. Yeah, my, my heart 
watching some of those situations there. Especially with the pressure of him being on low lines. I was True. scared for him. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sabrozo is on the Hornet Hall. Scrolly, Sabrozo scroll. actually executed the scrolly scroll. Oh! Mm, okay. Uh, Sabrozo is still fine. That, that, that's, that's completely fine, but oh boy. Yeah, that's, lost, uh, like, that, that's a bit too scary, Scrolly Scroll. So, uh, what happens on Scrolly Scroll? You make a web under the hook, you dismount Squitter, you land on the hook, and you uh, remount Squitter again. And for some reason, the game is confused and decides to force you to scroll forward. The camera is forcefully scrolling forward to the right. It goes really fast, and you save a few seconds by doing that. You save around five to six seconds. But there's a downside to Scrolly Scroll is that if you don't do the setup properly, uh, you can actually uh, get stuck in a wall, you're unable to get out, and you soft lock your game. Yep. And then, yeah, losing, losing the time as well from, like, not having Squitter after at the end, towards the end. Um, yeah, I was told that uh, when it was timed, uh, doing scrolly scroll versus not doing it, it saves uh, one second doing scrolly scroll. One second only? Yeah, because of all the time that you spend, like, not having Squitter afterwards, it uh, loses a lot of time at that point. Uh, the reason that it got timed was because I was uh, asking around why uh, Leftover didn't do it in his uh, Warpless PB when he got world record in, in Warpless, so then uh, uh, Jis uh, timed it. Oh my goodness, Gongminism Gong actually went for the Valve backup. Wow, that's amazing. So Gong Incredible. did crap. not get the Vine Clip, but that backup is really finicky to get. So we just positioned uh, it's Kong's just right uh, using a visual cue on the platform and has to jump straight up and team throw through the just do uh, team throws Kong at a good at a good position to be able to clip through the vine. Usually this, I believe this comes out equal to to the normal vine clip, but that that's amazing that I that it got this backup actually got shown. I never see anyone go for this. Yeah, I saw. I heard it was like recommended only to do in 102 percent, but <laughs> apparently it saves a one or two seconds. From what I heard, it's actually come from Val, who actually uh, came up with that setup. Actually, it was I don't know if so that that setup was actually found a while back, but yeah. Now Sabrozo is on Bramble Warp, Bramble Brambler. Let's see yep. if he gets it. Very difficult, wrong warp. Victorious run good. killer. Gets it. Excellent. Gets it first try. Clean. Very nice. Yeah, that, Rickety that, race. <laughs> yeah, Rickety race the Monka Steer level. Monka Steer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, it goes pretty fast when you, uh, if you hold left and get that boost and then. Uh, it can be hard to react to uh, where you need to jump. So obviously it just takes practice. Once you grind it out, you'll definitely get used to it. Oh, Communism actually failed a quick hit on Kajal and it actually has to wait out an entire cycle. Oh, takes Ouch, it takes damage. Mmm, that's unfortunate. Okay, it still finishes the fight. That That's okay, but as you can see, if you fail a quick hit, a quick hit this is actually what happens. You have to wait out an entire cycle. And he gets a Diddy Rap. Swag. <laughs> and also, Sabrozo didn't uh, didn't die to number two guy, thankfully. We had that yep. happen in one of the earlier races. It's pretty frustrating. It's just our, number two guy is pretty notorious in this level. It's very easy to just... This time you jump, you kill the guy, and you're... You aren't able to save yourself from falling to falling yep. to your death. It's pretty Bounce frustrating. Bounce straight through a pit. Yeah. Yeah, number two. Number three is a little bit risky, but like less so comparatively. Number three is pretty free, but number two guy is pretty notorious. Yep. Now, yeah, several... you, you cut it close on like the number two guy, like always. So. <laughs> yeah. Now Sabrozo is on the mud hole, so this is a, a very hard stage, but it's a really